lesson 2 primitive functions 3 we have to integrate 2 over x cubed dx now to do this we have to put that again in the index form so we'll write that as 2 x to the negative 3 dx now that 2 can come out front of the integral sign and then we can just focus on the x to the negative 3 now we can do that provided that's a constant. We can't do that if it's a variable. So that will be equal to 2, add 1 to the index, x to the minus 2, over minus 2, plus a constant. And that becomes minus x to the negative 2, plus a constant. And you can leave it like that, or probably a bit better to write this minus 1 over x squared plus a constant. Now, there's a very important thing to note that we have this time 1 over x dx we cannot apply the rule and you can see why because if we go ahead and do this and try to apply the rule we have to add 1 to the constant we would get x to the 0 over 0. So we're trying to divide by 0, which we can't do. So this is not allowed, but later on we'll find there will be a, a way of integrating that function, as we'll see in, in a later uh, section. Now, in number 2, I've got x cubed plus 1 on x squared dx and again we can rewrite that in index form as x cubed plus x to the minus 2 dx because that is x to the fourth on 4 now this becomes plus x to the minus 1 on negative 1 plus a constant and that becomes x to the fourth on 4 minus 1 over x plus the constant. Alright we have to integrate x cubed plus 1 divided by x squared. Now it's important to note you can only do this type of integration uh, if there's one term in the denominator. So just watch what happens here. We rewrite that as x cubed over x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. And that becomes the integral of x plus x to the minus 2 dx. Now it's very similar to the one we did before. So that becomes x squared over 2 plus add 1 to the index minus 1 on negative 1 plus the constant which simply becomes x squared over 2 minus 1 on x plus the constant. All right now number 4 a bit of a mixture we'll have 1 over the square root of x. So we're combining the fractional and the negative index. So that becomes the integral of, that becomes x to the minus a half dx. And of course, when we add 1 to that index, we get x to the half over a half plus the constant, which the half becomes 2 and the x to the half becomes the square root of x plus a constant. Right, and that takes care of um, negative and fractional indices.